Now it's a picture of a crashed aeroplane actually, yeah. but not the one in this particular story. Okay, here we go. This is behind the scenes Pioneer, a short family film because this is my dad and it's a documentary that I wrote and directed, although technically you wrote it because it's based on your life, isn't it? True. <laughs> and using your stills photography of when he crash landed in Borneo in the jungle. More of a forced landing than a crash landing. I know, but for drama, for the sake of drama. <laughs> oh. I joined the Royal Air Force in 1964. I was just 23 years old, just about. And my first tour in the Air Force was on 209 Squadron. And they had twin pioneers. Not a glamorous aeroplane, but it did a very good job. A short takeoff and landing could land on a football pitch. Ideal for the work in the jungle strips of Malaya and Borneo. The mission strip, yes, was a little, little village they were a mixture of Iban and Calabit natives. They had this peculiar haircut, like a Beatles haircut. They were very friendly, even though stories had it they were still headhunters, but uh, it, was it was a dying out uh, business for them. This is all taken between 1965, the end of 1965 and 1969. Yes, they were, they were from my little Yashika camera from which I took slides and have since digitized. We had to scan every single one of these in, in order to tell this story. Having a film made by my son, it was his idea, it was a very nice thought. It's also good for me, in my old age, bringing it all back. I do realise they were, they were good times in those days. I was very fortunate not to be flying in a fast jet fighter, but flying a slow 80 knots flat out twin pioneer because I got to see the country, to meet the people, quite an incredible experience. Oh yes, and I wish you luck with your with this particular project especially. We'll split the winnings, won't we? Yeah. <laughs>